Hi, and today we'll be analyzing a poem called "Driving Home" by Gerard Benson. First of all, let's take a look at the form of the poem. The poem has four stanzas, so here one, two, three, and four. In each stanza, um, sorry, each stanza has a regular rhyming pattern. If you look at the last words on each line, so car, store. Do, true, buy, tie, room, bloom, etc. We'll be able to find out that the rhyme scheme is a regular A B A B C D C D E F E F G H G H structure. So it's a regular, it's a poem with a regular rhyme scheme and also a very fixed structure as well. Moving on, let's talk about the setting of the poem from stanza one. Coming back home from Granny's in the car, I try to stay awake. I really do. I look around to find the evening star and make a wish. Who knows? It might come true. This stanza gives us a rather peaceful feeling, and we also know of the place of the poem, which is in the speaker's family car. So we know that the speaker is a child or a teenager. We will find more. Hints later on, and、um, the family has just had dinner at their granny's, so grandparents' house, and they are coming home. So you can imagine,、uh, for example, um, visiting your grandpa and grandma in the weekend. You had dinner, and your parents are driving you home. So it's um, you will be feeling quite you know happy, full in the tummy, satisfied. And a little bit sleepy as well. That's why the speaker is trying very hard to stay awake. And the time,、um, we can deduce that is probably the evening or the night time. That's why the speaker is a bit sleepy at that time. Stanza one describes the setting of the poem and also set the tone, like what I mentioned just now.、Um, it is a rather peaceful.、Um, the poem has a rather peaceful mood. Stanzas two and three、um, describe what the speaker sees through the car window on their way back home. So,、um, trying to stay awake, the speaker um, um, puts his or her attention onto the things he or she sees. Through the car window. So here in stanza two, we have、um, the speaker seeing the yellow windows. Again, this is a hint,、um, telling us that it's nighttime already. So the windows are yellow because the、um, the people who live inside each flat、um, have turned on the lights. So that's why the yellow windows. So、uh, the speaker is looking at the yellow windows, and inside each. Through each window,、um, he or she sees the people、um, doing some regular routine, like、uh, oh, they're cutting bread, they're tying a tie, they are watching the TV. Telly means TV here. And outside the buildings, he or she also see the street lamps, Gaidan street lamps, so flashing past one by one, and then casting、um, shadows of、um, people onto the onto the wall. And then um, she um, decides to she starts to think about how you know um, um, lights and shadows work, and by thinking about that, um, he or she that the speaker um becomes more and more sleepy. So he she breathes and then watch and you know settles back into her he or she or her seat, feeling more and more sleepy on her way. So、um, from these two stanzas, from the last two stanzas, we know a little bit more about the speaker, right?、Um, from stanza one, from Granny's in the car, and also trying to find the evening star and make a wish, we kind of know that、um, the speaker is probably a younger、um, child or like a young teenager or a child,、um, because you know, you know,、um, growing older, we would not really, you know, be. Looking for evening stars、um, in the skies、uh, when we are,、um, you know, when we are riding in the car, right? And also in the last stanza, we know the speaker actually、um, does fall asleep. He or she feels that they're moving, but they don't know where. So starting to lose、um, direction, starting to lose、um, consciousness, not knowing where they are going. 
and then someone talks to him or her. Um, there's a distant voice. The voice seems to come from a distance. Seems to come from very far away, and the voice says, "Wake up! Wake up! We are there." So we kind of know that the distant voice. We can guess that is from his or her parents, right? So they finally reach their house, and the parents are trying to wake him or her up. We talked about the end rhymes. What about internal rhymes? And a, a reminder: an internal rhyme would be、um, rhyming words that appear on the same line. So here we have three examples. They are here: do and to, do and to. I try to stay awake. I really do. So you can actually see that the internal rhyme、um, emphasis on the、um, rhythm. Gives the poem a better rhythm. I try to say a week. I really do. So the repeated sounds strengthens the rhythm. Here we also have who and true, who and true. Lastly, we have stretching and watching, stretching and watching. Moving on,、uh, let's take a look at the techniques.、Um, the poem again, because、um, the poet wants to create a very strong regular rhythm.、Um, he uses a lot of Assonance and alliteration, and here are、um, a list of all the assonance pairs and also、um, alliteration pairs. Assonance, a reminder, our assonance means the repetition of the vowel sounds. Remember, it's not the spelling, but the sounds. Here we have stay awake, the A sound, stay awake. I try, yellow windows, windows wheezing, the E E, the windows wheezing, loaf of, tie and tie. C street, the long E sounds. Flash past the R,、ah, flash past. Wander down. Everything gets the E. Everything gets. Far away, don't know. Distant, which in fast asleep, fast asleep. Okay, so um, these are all the vowel sounds. Moving on, we can have the alliteration as well. The alliteration again is the sound, not the spelling. So the first. Consonant sounds. We have line five. Windows wheezing the wa wa sound. Windows wheezing. Sometimes c. Tie and tie. Sh the s h sh shadows shrink. Breathe back. Seems to say, wake we're here. Okay, wake we're. So these are all the alliteration pairs. We also have one example of onomatopoeia. Again, mind the spelling of the. Very very long word. Here we have the ia,、uh, o e i a, o e a, mon onomatopoeia, and it happens at the word wheezing by.、Um, imagine things passing very fast, and when you are sitting inside a car and you are opening the window, sometimes you hear the wind, right? The wheezing sounds. So here. Um, the word "wheeze" it what it describes. It describes the car moving very fast past the buildings and the people. The speaker observes wheezing. So, what is wheezing by? We、um, already talked about it.、Uh, it's the yellow windows, like this one, right? Yellow windows are、uh, telling us that it is the night time. And through the windows, we see people、um, doing very ordinary things. Nothing special, just you know things that people do、uh, when they get home. And we also see um very um peaceful, uh, a very uh calm, a description of a very calm um view. People shadows um growing bigger and smaller as the lights move. So、um, the shadows changing shapes. Um. These also create the peri、uh, help create a very peaceful mood.、Uh, we know that the people have all gone home safely. Is in an in the evening, right? So people go go home. They do、um, everyday tasks.、Um, everyone feels relaxed and warm. They are indoors.、Um, hence the peaceful mood. We also know that we also can feel that it matches with the speakers. Mood as well because he or she just visited the granny and he or she feels very satisfied, happy, and also relaxed sitting in the back seat of the car. <laughs> this is a very this is one of the、um, famous memes. As you can see, usually people agree that when they leave their grandparents' house, they get a lot of you know extra presents, maybe like pocket money or snacks, and they also grow fatter because they eat a lot. 
Um, we also have very uh, a very heavy use of the um, visual imagery. Um, the poem appeals to the sense of sight. We have the yellow windows, the colors, and also a vivid dis very vivid descriptions of people doing things. We don't just have you know people doing things. We have the cutting. They are cutting a loaf of bread. You know, very um, detailed description of what they are cutting. Also, the street lamps, the colors. And also, people's shadows growing and shrinking. A description of the action. So here, it helps us visualize. It helps us imagine what the speaker is seeing exactly. Last, the last poetic techniques is a new one. It is called enjambment. Enjambment means at the end of the line, the meaning isn't complete. So the readers need to continue reading onto the second line. Basically, it means the writer chops one sentence in the middle. And place them onto two lines, so the speakers are forced to read on to the second line to know actually what is happening. Here we have a few, like here, a look around to find the evening star and make a wish. So here in the second line, we have to read both lines to find out what's happening, right? So this is an example of enjambment. We also have more, like here, whizzing by and sometimes see a person. One by one, and watch how people's shadows grow and shrink. And last one, I see, I hear a distant voice which seems to say, "Wake up." So here, why are why is the use of enjambment accurate? I think that the use of enjambment matches with what the speaker is seeing. Imagine looking out of the car window, and you have to look at one window, but then the car moved past it already, and you only catches, and you only catch glimpses, like snapshots, very short moments. Of different things, and then the car moves, and you look at another thing. So very short cuts between different things you see. That's why the enjambment. It's like, oh, I haven't stopped. I haven't finished looking at one thing, but the car moves, and you are already looking at another thing. What happens in the last stanza? So here we have wake up, wake up. We are there. We know that、um, they arrived home, and the parents are trying to wake her up as they get home. Okay.、Uh, what about the last, the bracket here? She's fast asleep. Um, there are multiple interpretation. I think that here probably is the two parents. So maybe the mom is saying "wake up, wake up," and then the dad is saying "hey, she's fast asleep." Okay, this is a like an intrusion in other person speaking. That's why it's in bracket. Okay, that's all. I hope this、um, analysis helps you understand more、um, about the poem.